So press hands down and front lever pulls is on the session today. Now tuck press could be from the hardest version, which is more like a tuck planche press. So it's from a kneeling position. I'm doing this in reverse order, so I'm gonna show the hardest version first. So kneeling position, I'm gonna lift up to a tuck planche and then roll through the tuck handstand into a freestanding handstand. So knees to chest. So then towards the tuck and then open up from there. And then obviously show control at the top and try and get back through that knees to chest. Pass through the tuck planche, trying to keep the arms straight, putting the shins back onto the floor. Now to make that slightly easier, you could use your toes. So you could push the toes into the floor. To this point, now we need to try and get the hips quite high, bring the heels to the butt and come up. Same in reverse, but ideally the reverse should be slightly easier. So you could go all the way down, but if not, toes to the floor, put a bit of weight in, back out. You could obviously only work on the eccentric, so just do the down movement if you don't have the up. You could do a jump, now I went the jump on pushing the toes into the floor and using momentum to send me up. And obviously over time you just decrease the momentum. If you don't have a control freestanding hold, just use the post to stop you. Show control, come back down. So if you don't have a front lever pull yet, uh, get yourself upside down on the bar and do an eccentric. So just get into a tuck position and lower yourself back down like this. And then just decide on a position with your hips. So what I mean by that is the angle of the hip. Now, same thing with the planches, the front levers. So this is an easy position. So knees closest to your chest, heels towards your butt. To make it harder, we just start to open out. So the distance between your knee and your chest gets bigger. And then just try and hold that. If you're doing something dynamic, try and fix this. Try not to let this happen because most people, as they move, will slowly do this and they won't realize they're doing it. And you're making it easier or harder as you go. So try and fix this in the position and keep it the same and then working all the way to your straight position. So easiest would be tight tuck. Then we go to open tuck by flat back position. Then you could open the knee and go up even more and that's where you're gonna to touch the bar. So the other side of the bar like this. Then we could open to straddle or frog. You could go to half lay, which is open hip, closed knees. That one's hard. And then eventually straight body position, which is seen as the hardest. I'll see if I can do this with an open hip, so try not to close the hip in any way. No, it's not quite there today. I think I closed my hip a little bit. I'll definitely do that on video from the side and see how much your hip is moving. A good test is to see whether you can hold this position. Obviously lowering down is harder, but see if you can lower down. If you can't lower down at that position, just see if you can hold in the straight position, go into a tuck and then lower down. Now I'm gonna try a cool combination I've been working on. So it's a front lever pull over the bar, down to a muscle up back over the top of the bar and then an eccentric front lever lower. We did the same thing on the way up with the tuck planche press, but I'm gonna open up to a straddle planche on the way back down. Now let's try again with that muscle up. That was better, not super clean on the muscle up, but better. I've got to try and keep the arms straighter for longer to feel that momentum pass through instead of breaking the momentum with the bend in the arms. 
Okay, let's attempt something crazy because the plant is feeling good. So just visiting that full plant for a few seconds. Well, set a few seconds, like milliseconds. So I'm back on that full planche train now. I've lost about four or five kilos. So I'm hoping that really helps. Everything's feeling much easier. So fingers crossed that will happen soon. Let me know if you have any questions, stick them down in the comments below and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.